Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Heather Tulla with another new video. If you are a civil engineer, then you know that the calculation of pile capacity, okay? The calculation of pile capacity is very, very important uh, topic in our civil engineering department, actually for uh, geotechnical engineers, for geotechnical engineers. So, I have created an Excel file so that we can create pile capacity very easily, okay? Without any problem within a minute. So, I'm just going here, okay, and actually I will provide you that Excel file absolutely free, okay, I will just provide you that Excel file absolutely free, uh, actually I have done ev everything here in this channel just for you to help my civil engineer co-learners to make our field better. So if you're a civil engineer and you are if you're first time in our channel then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and in this channel there are many civil engineering related video i have covered almost all kinds of civil engineering related uh, software that are really really essential for a civil engineers so i've covered that and also they have many civil engineering related basic video so just see here i'll just give you that uh, file link in description to download it so after download that file just see here they have a graph that will that will move automatically when you will change the data okay here is the our pile graph graph of our pile so this is our ground level or pile cap level right and here our order table level and here is the dimension of our pile now I have created some option here so after providing a value here you will be able to see your pile capacity by clicking here and also you can go the first base input data base by clicking here and also by clicking here you can go the final result base so from here like that way you can use that software very very easily right now I am just going to show that how will by clicking here how will just analysis our uh, pile that are required for our building design okay and after that in next video i'll just show you that how we'll design a pile by using another excel file and also with a software okay so actually uh i'll just first of all i'll give here the value here the unit weight of soil okay unit weight of soil just you have to give here the value first of all here unit weight of soil okay actually what is your unit weight of soil just you have to give here suppose i am considering that my unit weight of soil is 20 kilo newton per meter cube 20 kilo newton per meter cube all right so here after that you have to give her the value of c you know that as a civil engineer if you if you're a civil engineer that you know that this is the value of c prime or s u my means this is the value of cohesion okay this is value of cohesion so just you have to give her the value of cohesion suppose our uh, the value of cohesion is i'll just give her the value of cohesion okay the value of cohesion i'll just give here uh 155 150 okay 150 i'll just consider our value is 150 kilo newton per meter square actually this value can be different from your geotechnical report or geo after your ge geotechnical analysis okay just you have to give the that data from your geotechnical report after that here if your soil is undrained okay here i have uh, told you that for undrained soil use phi equal to zero okay for undrained soil we will use phi equal to zero so suppose first of all consider that your soil is undrained soil okay your soil is undrained soil that means it's clay soil or any other types of soil okay so i'll provide here phi equal to zero degree phi the angle of friction phi is the angle of friction right after that here alpha that means 
addition factor. Alpha means addition factor. What is the actually addition factor? So we'll just give you that addition factor value. Just suppose I am giving here 0 0.5. Actually, that wall value you will get from your geotechnical engineer or after geotechnical survey. Okay. Now here delta delta is the data for angle of friction between pile and soil suppose when will penetrate our pile okay or will when will use hammer for penetrate our pile then a uh, friction will work or between pile and soil so here is that data suppose our angle of friction is consider that it's 10 10 degree suppose i'm just considering you just you will I'm just assuming all data here. You will get that data from your geotechnical engineer, right? Now it's done. Now we have to give it water table, okay? Water table data, water table, depth to water table. So here actually, what is the depth to water table? So from your pile, okay? From here, your pile, this is the point here from that pile to ground level okay the distance of water table from the upper point of the pile or top point of pile to below okay suppose i'm considering that our ground table is 15 meter our ground table uh, water table is 15 meter i'm just considering that okay it's 15 meter now when it's done now we have to go here the pile details so we have provided all soil details that we have found from our geotechnical engineer or after soil survey okay so the data will get from a geotechnical engineer now we'll get pile details we'll get pile details i mean we'll give the pile details from here simply click here and you will give here a drop down list so from here select which types of pile you are using circular or rectangular or a square so for a square just simply select a square otherwise re circular actually you know that uh, the many time we use circular pile for heavy construction work after that here give the diameter of pile okay what is what will be the diameter of your pile actually suppose consider that uh, the diameter of pile will be 0 0.6 meter okay this is the diameter of pile just see here when we have changed that data the shape of that pile are changing with respect to its shape okay so from here the toy depth what is the meaning of toy depth so from that pile cap the pile cap to foundation depth okay from pile cap to foundation depth i'll consider that that is suppose consider that uh, it's 12 meter i'm just considering that it's 12 meter or okay it's 10 meter just see here when we're changing the data it's also changing now here the load the applied at load actually they have a important thing you have to understand okay you have you have to understand about that load actually they have no fixed load for it they have no fixed load for it so we'll just assume that data okay we'll just assume that data and finally okay finally we'll see that how much load we can apply actually that is the thing for pile capacity okay just we'll check that how much data we can apply it on our pile with respect to our that pile shape and that soil properties okay actually that is the check is here then we have to check it just we have to check it here it is now first of all i'll consider that i'll consider that uh, our pile will be able to take load 1000 kilo newton okay 1000 kilo newton this is the load this is the applied load also included weight of pile okay so i'll just consider that it's it'll it's 2000 kilo newton this is the applied load includes weight of pile okay includes weight of pile the weight of pile also should be 
weight of pile also should be considered with that value so consider that our load okay our uh, pile can consider uh, i mean our pile can bear that 2000 kilo newton load on it now it's done and here you have to give it the factor of safety factor of safety and also here you have to give it okay now it's uh, 2 it's also 2 you can change it according to requirement I'll give 2 2 factor of safety now it's done now I'll just click here pile capacity okay to, to see your pile capacity so I'll just simply click here and here your all data about pile capacity okay here all data are available for our pile capacity now i'll go for by clicking here final result simply click here and you will see you will see that this is our final result and our software telling us the applied at load greater than qa i mean allowable load here our allowable load is 897.7 kN. Okay, this is our load actually. 897.7 kN load. Our foundation can, I mean, our pile can bear, but we have provided 2000. Okay, we have provided to 2000. So now I will just go back in input data okay I'll go here input data and I will just increase the diameter of pile okay I'll just increase the diameter of pile 0 0.65 I'll give 0 0.65 enter then again go final result now also it's failing okay also it's failing so I'll just go again input data now if we change the shape then what happened I have uh, changed that shape now go final result now uh, our value have increased okay our value have increased but it's not okay actually it's not okay now I'll just go here input data again so it's all okay 0 0.5 alpha addition factor 10, 10 10 degree this is water table 15 now here I'll just decrease the load actually okay I'll decrease the load I'll give her 1500 150 kilo okay 150 kilo then go here final result It's also showing us our uh, that overall factor that are increasing. Okay, now again I'll go input data, and if we give her the angle of friction, okay, if we give her angle of friction, that's or if we decrease the angle of friction between pile and soil, so if I give her. Uh, 2 degree then see what happened go here final result it's also it's 1.6 our overall factor so I'll just go again input data and from here I'll just consider that our pile can bear 1000 kilonewton load then go here for final result Has the final result now see that our design is okay i mean our uh, pile capacity showing us okay that means if we if we design a pile if we design a pile that can that can wear i mean uh, if we uh, design or if we consider a pile sizes there is the size length is 10 meter and diameter is 0 0.65 meter then it will be able to take load 
1000 kN and if we give her 1200 then see what happened pile capacity the final result it's also okay okay it's also okay now see that our design is okay that means in that condition okay in that condition input data in that condition we can use the applied it allowable loads on it okay applied it I mean its capacity load capacities 12 112 sorry uh, 1012 uh, 200 and also if we change that shape you now see here final result it's not okay when we have we are using when we are using that circular shape then our foundation is not okay right so if we increase that diameter one meter if we use our diameter as one meter and now see what happened now it's okay actually okay now it's okay for one meter diameter it's okay go again input diameter and if I consider 1000 1000 kilonewton okay 1000 kilonewton and our diameter is 0 0.6 7 consider 0 0.67 okay and our wall data is okay our all data is okay then I'll go have final result it's okay okay so for that arrangement input data actually for that arrangement here is the arrangement with that soil properties we can use the pile the length is 10 meter and diameter is 0 0.6 meter right so actually this is the way to find out the load carrying capacity of pile so if you think that that's helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channel and also press the bell icon and don't forget to like us and obviously leave a comment that uh, it is okay or not and for any complaint or for any suggestion please contact me and um, if you think that they have any mistake actually after all, i'm a human so if you think that they have any mistake actually please let me know i'll try to change that okay and uh, before using that in practical i mean origin i mean uh, in real project just take it it is okay or not so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video in next video i'll just show that how we'll design our pile cap i mean how we'll fi uh, find out the requirement of pile uh, pile number of pile in our next video so thank you thank you very much